Instead, he signed a three-year, $150 million contract extension. He told us he knew exactly what he was getting into, that his go-to wide receiver, Devontae Adams, may not be here, and that this is a very young team. But he added, I love a challenge. He said, coming off just one touchdown last week, how did you get your offense going? Well, I think the run game kind of got us going a little bit, and we made some big plays, so. Mike, the first win of the season, and it's at home in front of the hometown crowd. Aaron, I'm going to start with you because you continue to own the Chicago Bears. What is it about this rivalry that brings out the best in you? I love history, and there's a long history of an absolute stud. He's, you know, one of the toughest guys in the NFL, dripping wet about 185, <laughs> breaking tackles all over the place, elusive, and take all that away he's a hell of a guy great teammate great person love having him on my team love working with him a big smile from you and two touchdowns tonight what was working for you uh you know everybody the, the whole offensive unit. congratulations on the win and aaron i have to ask you because next week you head to tampa you face tom brady and the buccaneers what can we expect hopefully a better performance than last time we were down there uh you know, they're 2-0 and we're one and one you know, the season's looking like it was last year. You know, we started off, got blown out. Then we played a division opponent and got right at home. Then we went on the road against a really tough opponent. People didn't think we were going to win the game. And we came up with a great effort and beat San Francisco last year in week three. And we got to go down to Tampa and have a great effort. They're a great football team. Their defense dominated today. Obviously, Tommy's a legend. So we're going to have to play our best ball. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Melissa, thank you to the Aaron.